What's up, Bernsey? Hey, what's up? How you doing? I am doing all right. What's going on? What's your take? Um, my take is I just really have a hard time believing anything anymore, regardless of side. I mean, I, I don't understand or believe shit because we have so many accusations flying in every direction and nothing ever seems to happen. So I'm curious about the comfort and the confidence that you have in all of these things. Okay. M meanwhile, there's not a lot of things to point to other than kind of the, the probabilities, in, including on the Biden side too. It's like, they do this, they do that, and Hunter this, and Hunter. It's like, it's almost entertainment at this point with zero uh, conclusion. It's just confusing to me, so just curious. Okay, so uh, one, he lost both E.G. and Carroll cases, gonna pay $88.3 million. He lost the New York civil fraud case, he's gonna pay uh, about four hundred and fifty million dollars. If he even, no, even no, come up with the money, I agree with that. Until he right. pays, though. Until he pays, <clears throat> let's see. Right? They're already. There's they've already. At all no. So he has to put that money up in a bond prior to appealing. Um, it's called a supersedious bond. He has to put that money up, and he has thirty days. I just checked. He has four days to put eighty-three million dollars into a fund to appeal the Eugene Carroll case. And okay. uh, Letitia James has already filed paperwork to enforce judgment on him, meaning that they'll come seize his property and do a share sale. Um, <clears throat> as far as like the difference, right, is like when we're talking about the Bidens, the Biden crime family, when Republicans are talking about them, everything that they don't understand is proof that they've done it. But if I talk about Trump, right, and all of the evidence that they have against him, uh, they'll just be like, ah, he's, he's not convicted. Okay, so Biden's not convicted. Well, in this instance of the New York thing, they'll be like, oh, well, there's no victim, even though there is. Be like, OK, who's the victim in the Biden in the Biden crime family? Who's the victim there? They don't see what I'm saying. Like, so the standards don't apply in this instance. Like <clears throat> even the other day, Donald Trump admitted to breaking the law, having the documents at Mar-a-Lago on national television. This guy's screwed. The problem is he has had so many court cases against him for stuff that he very clearly did that they're scheduling issues. They're trying to schedule everything in. And so that's the problem. But yeah, mm. I don't know if that answers your question. It did. It did. And, and I'll tell you, part of my, my, I guess, jaded perspective in a lot of areas, I mean, I go back to that, and I'm sure you have a concise opinion on, on it, but you remember all of that shit that went down with how it was clear, no question, 100% Trump colluded with Russia. And and I'm not saying, like, there was no question. He was, yeah, he, he should have been shot. And then all of this happened, the country, you and I spent millions and millions on the research and all things. So that's where my, my. So, but here's the thing. But here's the thing, he did, right? Colluding is not a crime. Colluding is an ethical violation. And the Republicans opted, despite the evidence against him, the people that were going to bring charges against him and try him are going to be Republicans. So they're not going to bring it against him. They don't they're just going to, you know, they can say, oh, we didn't we didn't bring charges against him. Therefore, he's innocent. So they can self decide. But yes, Paul Manafort admitted that he turned over polling data to Russian uh, assets Um <clears throat> Jeff or uh, John John Dur John Durham in the Durham report admitted that the Trump kids met with Russian officials uh, trying to elicit help from them. Like so, there's a ton of evidence to that degree. Like yeah, Donald Trump ever, obstructed, uh, huh? Yeah, charged or or I mean, there was a bunch of people in Trump's circle. Yeah, there's seven top whatever. There were seven or so people yeah. that were char that were convicted out of there and there was 30 something indictments some of them are right they were found out in in the midst of doing that right because again them talking with russians right like paul manafort talking with russians paul manafort actually took money he took a bribe but paul manafort um talking to russians is not inherently a crime like it's just not it is an ethical violation um Dude, if I so, were ever held accountable on ethical violations, 
I mean, God dang, I would be, well, I'm not in public office, but hell's bells. We all probably would be. Ethical violations, that's really interesting. However, I'll, I'm going to ask you this one question, and I know that there's a, there's a lot of focus on Trump, and uh, obviously, you know, there, there should be. Um, but what is, what's best for this country? Take out Biden, take out Trump. Like, what, what is all of what you're trying to do and what others are trying to do? Like, what, what's the goal here? I'm just curious, a perspective on what, what, are we, what do we want for the United States of America? Uh, progress. Mm -hmm. We want things to get better, right? That's what we all do. The problem is the Republicans do not have a plan, and they have a warped and twisted view about what they don't even believe in progress, about what we should do as a country, though. Mm. Right? They don't and have any your, policies. That's your, it's all, that's your, your perspective. Well, I, I'll ask you, because I ask it all the time, can you give me three policies the Republicans stand for? <laughs> well, obviously, the, the easy, the low-hanging fruit, and I'm sure you're going to you'll have a You'll have a rebuttal, uh, but I'm just a regular guy trying to make a difference in Kansas City. Um, but I'm troubled by the um, seemingly porous border, right? Okay. I think that Republicans, all of us, Okay, yeah. Republicans voted against the border deal because they didn't want to give Biden a win. Joe Biden offered them whatever they want to get other funding passed, and they rejected it. So was there anything else within that particular bill? There, there, so in, it was offered. It was in. offered as a. It was offered as a as a as a omnibus bill, omnibus mm -hmm. bill, omnibus bill. It was it was offered with a bunch of things included in it, that the Republicans themselves wrote in. So Ukraine funding, which Republicans wrote into the bill and advocated for. Uh, Taiwan funding that they wrote into the bill and advocated for, and Israel funding. Those were the four funding things that were supposed to be done in there. They rejected that because of the border bill that was in it. So the Democrats offered it back to them as a standalone bill, and they again rejected it. So why, why wouldn't we just, like, get rid of any other opinions? <laughs> like, get rid of independents, get rid of Republicans. Just, like, have this whole country run on one perspective because that perspective is proven right all the time. Why wouldn't we just do that? And how do we do that? What? I, I'm not a advocating for autocracy. It's just Republicans. Like, here's the thing. If I was to sit down with Mitt Romney, right, we could come to some agreement. The Democrats could even come to some agreement with him about what we should be funding and what he's willing to compromise on. The problem is the Republicans have offered and done nothing. The only thing that they have offered up is to destroy asylum laws. Um, <clears throat> this is in the last session, by the way. They haven't done pretty much anything. To target uh, women's reproductive health and to target uh, marginalized groups in various different ways. That's it. That's all they've offered. Wow. They're just so evil. And I'm being Can you facetious. Tell me, okay. I think, yeah, it's, well, I think it's like. I mean, give me, all, give me, but watch. You can't give me things that they support that are good that the Democrats don't too support. Well, here's, here's, what I, here's what I personally believe. And again, this is why I don't watch, you know, any major networks, CNN, Fox, MSM. I don't watch them all because they're all, they're all making money off of their perspectives and getting everyone fired up. And I think collectively at the end of the day, they're all supported by the same same coffers. So whatever I stand for, uh, don't fuck with my taxes. Let's keep this country safe and closed and, and <laughs> in a respectful manner. Uh, I would also say that uh, job creation is, uh, is paramount. And um, okay. go, dude, I'm one, vo I'm one vote. Like you're going to vote one way. And I'm going to vote another. Our votes cancel out. Okay. So there's that. Right. In okay. general, well, no, this is what no. I believe in. And I don't see any party doing anything in either direction. It's all entertainment. And actually, check this shit out. I think they're all on the same fucking side and they're all getting greased. And this is one big show and we have no fucking chance. How about that? 
Can, I, I just want to know, can you tell me what the Republicans support that's indifferent, that's different from what Democrats are advocating for? You said the border, but the Republicans shot that down. Yeah, the down. border. Dude, I, don't, I don't know Joe Biden got $1.5 billion from Mexico. Joe Biden has created more jobs, and I don't even know since the last president. There's more jobs created in his administration. than And even, even now, still creating jobs. You can say, well, those are jobs coming back. No, we have lower unemployment. And every, mo- every month, more jobs. So... Well, obviously, you're 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 you know you spend a lot of time on this, and this is kind of a, I mean, it's a cool hobby, and you've got you know you're well read, and I just don't have the, the time to to right, do all that. Right, but you understand what I'm so, saying? Like like if you ask if you were to ask me, why do I support this? Right? Why do I support this party? I could give you decisive, definitive reasons, but mm-hmm. I have yet to have Republicans come in here and give me good reasons, and certainly not reasons that the Democrats don't already support. Right. So how is like, it one party is so right and clear and the other is so I don't so think the bad. Democrats – no, I don't think the Democrats are right and clear. I think the Democrats get it wrong a lot. Uh, the problem is the Republicans only get it wrong. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. You have Tell not me, listed I, I, one I, policy. I, you have not given me a single policy. Hey, I'm not here to fucking – I'm not a pol- – I'm a okay, guy then don't laugh. Then stories. don't laugh up. <laughs> Listen, then don't laugh off and be pretentious because you don't have a response to what I'm saying. What, dude, because you're I just like the, to, to laugh it off and be not... like, "Ha ha, I can't." But if you don't know, what are you laughing about? Shouldn't you be like, "Oh, that's I'm, a good question. I'll go look into that." That's what you should be doing. I'm I'm laughing because no matter what his said to the contrary. You guys are gonna figure out a way to circumvent it. It does. You it, haven't offered a contrary. You haven't offered anything. You said the border, which the Republicans shot down. You said jobs, which the Democrats have done better. Okay. You said taxes, well, which talk. the Democrats let's have voted talk. with Republicans let's... on in every single tax cut since I don't know okay. fucking Reagan. Okay. Can we just talk about the border for a second? Do you sure. guys think that the border problem is actually a problem? Do I think it's a? I think that there is a humanitarian crisis there. I have yet to have someone tell me a single reason that I should care that people are coming here. Watch, he's not going to say anything, right? This is just a wild grandstand. You engage honestly. Or I, like, I know, man. Can I'm, you tell I'm me a single to... reason? Can you tell me one negative of migrants coming to our country? Um, besides, like, kind of random murders by folks that shouldn't be here or... random murders happen in america at a higher rate See in fact I mean? if we replace no but if matter. we listen for a second if we were repl- but you're because you're you're skewed if we replaced all trump supporters with migrants in this country murder rate would go down significantly so significantly. the fact that more under the biden administration those that have crossed the border illegally is more than 36 states population in general do you guys not see a problem with the what? escalated amount of people coming in i'm literally asking you for what Democrat. the problem is i'm literally asking you for what the problem is that's, that's so there's no infrastructure for. so there's the cities that are deemed as sanctuary cities that are screaming for that's, what is a sanctuary more? city i'm sorry what is a sanctuary city I guess those cities that said, hey, we'll bring on everybody you can ever nope. send us and they'll be safe. Nope. That's not what they are. That's not a sanctuary okay. city. Then it's the Chicago's and the New York. So those what's crazy to me is that those are the people that are coming here and applying for asylum and have to be processed at a city near where they requested to be uh, put. So I'm, I'm simply asking. And again, I have not heard a single argument from you. I I'm have not, not heard you tell argue, me a single. Uh, uh, well, I haven't. Okay, argue. then don't argue. Show me a point. I have not seen a single I'm thing here that you said. I'm to have a goddamn conversation. I what am is, too. Stop laughing, laughing off everything. Disagree. You're just better. laughing stuff up. What? Because I don't That's understand perfection. how you guys can sit there and think that, re- like, there's no limit to the amount of people that can come I'm into asking the you, State. I'm asking you simply and concisely what is the problem? What is the problem that needs addressing over and above the resources we already have at the border? What is the negative of migrants coming here? That's all I'm asking you. And your response is, you don't think there's? No, I don't, because nobody can tell me. Okay, so 
increased pressure on all of the things that it requires people to live a normal life. Let's what does say, that mean? for example, schooling, what does that mean? healthcare, okay. food, places to stay. If these people, there's seven, I don't even know the number of people coming in, but they, okay. how are they going to, who's paying for that? That's all I'm saying. Who's paying? They are. Migrants they are. pay way more than they bring in. Than they take out. Okay. Migrants pay significantly more than they take out. They take out Tell a fraction of what that. they put in. Tell me more. They put in five hundred and fifty billion dollars into federal, state, and local taxes every single every year. year. And they don't qualify for federal programs. So it's five hundred and fifty billion annually coming from who? Migrants. Like the people themselves or the countries they're coming from? No, the people that work here in the country. See how that works? We no, also no, no, wouldn't no. be able to. We also wouldn't be able to take out. We wouldn't be able to produce agriculture, uh, and there's a lot of like construction work that would fail because of it. Like if I'm we were just get rid of migrants. How many people have come across the border since in 2023? I don't know why I'm that not, matters even, to anything that I just said. I don't need, I don't need said. a number. I don't why, need why a number. Why does that matter to anything I just said? So you're talking about the benefits of having migrants here. I'm talking about. What happens to the millions that come in in 23? How long does it take? No one knows the answer. It's all bullshit. How long does it take before those people are actually contributing to society versus taking? I don't know. Do this, you? Is a, this is a weird pedantic argument. If you could show me that it was a negative, I'd be receptive to hearing it. But you just saying it as a plausible or potential negative? No. So I'm saying if migrants are coming here, if migrants are coming here to work, they need to work immediately. That's how it works. You can't just come here and then, no, I'm not going to do anything because, no, they have to contribute to the economy immediately because they have to eat. They have to feed their family, et cetera, et cetera. You're mm -hmm. you, like this is what happens is that people take a stab at a negative without proving anything or feeling resp the responsibility to provide any way in which it would make sense or be a negative. So there's no negatives at all about anything that's happening with regard I'm to... I'm asking you for form. them. I'm literally I'm, just asking you for them. Okay, I'm asking you. You don't see anything wrong with it at all? No, sh no give say, me one. I, I, I would say our return on investments when it comes to migrants and their tax contributions is a lot faster than it is for red states that take in more federal dollars than they do give back. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, guys, well, I, I mean, I think what is the negative? So you have agriculture work, something like 80 percent are foreign born workers. You have agriculture work that requires migrants. There's construction mm -hmm. work that requires migrants. You're talking about a whole host of infrastructure jobs and the ability to feed ourselves that would not be able to happen without migrants. And then you turn around and demonize them, despite the fact that, in all honesty, these people are being exploited by our country because they can come over here and work and then go back go back to their country of origin and that money that they made here is significantly more. So let me I, ask you this, the thing is there ever a danger of there being, I'm sure there isn't, but a uh, too many people just coming in. Is there ever a number or we're just like, just this is a slippery slope can, fallacy. That's funny because we tried to cap that. We tried to cap that at 5,200 within the, the border bill, but Republicans voted against it. Yeah, man. So, Wow. The problem can't also be the solution. Yeah. So where does it end? I, I, I don't know what this whole deal is. I just want to point out that a lot of the reason that we have a substantial <laughs> amount of migrants coming here is because of fi Title 42, which was done under Donald Trump. And when it ended, apprehensions went down by 70%. Mm -hmm. uh, people in South America are feeling the effects of the economy there in the same way that we are, but worse. So I, I don't understand your argument. Your argument is, well, if we uh, allow, again, we're not, again, your argument you, is if we allow all these the people to come argument. in, then would it destroy our country? And the answer is, I, I don't know, but you would have to provide me a negative. Nobody on our side is advocating that we just get rid of the border. Like, oh, we're not going to do anything there. Nobody's advocating for that. You're saying that we're, we're failing at it and that we have to do something extraordinary to stop it, like build this giant wall that doesn't work. Yeah, I didn't I didn't say that. I'm just looking at the numbers that seemingly are just increasing. And my question and you keep using the word argument. I really don't give a shit. I'm not arguing. I'm curious about is there ever like 
is is an ever enough ever enough can we just keep it open i don't give a fuck about sides guys like does does this matter at the end of the day like how many people should we or could we continue to take without any uh, i don't regulations know. Huh? I don't know, man. It doesn't. I, I don't know. We is there a cap of amount of people that could come here to do work? Yeah, sure, but we haven't reached it clearly because we're still begging for workers across the United States. Mm. <clears throat> we got a bunch in the box today. Sure. Anyway, is that all you had? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. All right. Take care. All right. Take care. You know, it's a pretty decent debate.